ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to this friendly international between St. Lucia and Guyana senior national team, or as you know them, as the Golden Jaguar. Right now, I want to ask you to stand for the singing for the national anthem of St. Lucia. All right, one to add together for the Golden Jaguar. And again, let me say thank you to those who don't see our yellow and come out and support the Golden Jaguar. And after the starting team for the Blue Show, wearing the number one jersey is Randy Pelliard. Wearing number 18, Sebastian Hunt. Number six, Jeremy Emmanuel. Number three, Kevin Gabriel. We're in the number 17 is Romeo Felix. Number 11, Aiden Charles. Number 2, John Joseph. Number 8, Tremaine Jean Paul. Number 10, Zaihu Polias. Number 15 is Malik Sinfrae. And we're number 14 is Lester Joseph. That's your family 11 of the St. Lucia National Football Team. And now for the starting lineup of the Golden Top One. Between the upright, we're in number 30, Akel Clark. Number 21, Colin Nelson. Number 4, is Jamal Smith. Number 16, Joshua Brown. Number 5, Chris Kumash. We're in number 8, Jersey, Captain Christopher Nerd. Number 15, Brandon Beresford. Number 23, Eon Allen. Wearing number 17 jersey is Marlon Mills. And number 11, Daniel Wilson. And wearing number 9 jersey is Sheldon Holder. That's your starting lineup for the Golden Jaguar. Come on, make some noise for the Golden Jaguar. We come to choose our very choices. King Solomon Austin, Len Charles Trichelow, Daniel White, Sinatra Manning. Clive Norriba, Junior Junior, Dwayne Jacobs, Calvin Shepard, Emery Welshman, Gray Lawrence, and Madison Bruno. Tonight's event, of course, comes to you with the compliments of Bank BH under their Bankware brand and Coca-Cola Open Happiness.
Okay, a very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. We want to welcome you down to the Ghana National Stadium here at Providence. We're going to be witnessing a friendly international between Guyana and the St. Lucia. Of course, when the two teams met in St. Lucia last year, that was in the Caribbean Cup competition. The St. Lucians prevailed two goals to nil. So, in the first instance, the Guyanese will be looking to return the favors even as both teams are preparing for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. This is the first game this year for the St. Lucians, while it's the second for the Guyanese. On February 1st in Barbados, they drew with that nation to all. So we're looking forward to a pretty good match this evening. And while winning would be on the table for both teams, they are, of course, preparing for World Cup qualifying which starts in June they are booked to play uh, in the second round of the CONCACAF leg of qualifying and we're off uh, the ball goes into touch so it's going to be a throw in to the St. Lucians but just to give you a quick rundown of the starting 11 for both teams St. Lucia in goal Randy Polion Sabatius Hunt uh, the captain wearing number six, Sheldon Emmanuel, and Hunt is wearing the number 18 jersey. We have Eric Gabriel in number three, Romeo Felix, number 17, Eden Charles, number 11, John P. Joseph, number two, Tremaine Shane Paul, number eight, Zacchaeus Polius, number 10, Malik Simpri, number 15, and Lester Joseph in the number 14 jersey for St. Lucia as the Guyanese take a throwing deep in the St. Lucia attacking third. Guyana still with possession. Let's give you the starting 11 for the home team. We have Akel Clark in goal wearing number 30, Colin Nelson number 21, Jamal Smith number 4, Joshua Brown at number 16, Chris Camacho number 5, Christopher Nurse the captain number 8, Brandon Beresford number 15, Eon Allen, number 23, Verlin Mills, number 17, Daniel Wilson, number 11, and Sheldon Holder, wearing the number 9 jersey. The head coach for the Guyanese, Jamal Shabazz, and for St. Lucia, Francis Lastic. As the on-field action continues, Ghana in possession, looking to move forward. That ball goes directly in the path of a St. Lucian as the action heats up here in the first half of this friendly international at the Ghana National Stadium in Providence. A pretty fair-sized crowd in the house so far in the yellow to show support for the Golden Jaguars. St. Lucia but the ball headed away into touch, so it's going to be a throwing, another throwing to the St. Lucians. Uh, looking pretty aggressive in the opening minutes here against the Guyanese. And when the two teams met in St. Lucia last year, uh, the majority of the team was an inexperienced unit. It's a different scenario here today. A number of local players involved, as well as under 23 players, as you know, also the CONCACAF leg of Olympic qualifying will start later this year. So both nations taking the opportunity to expose a number of young players as well as the St. Lucians are in the Guyana half with that ball going into touch, still in possession of the St. Lucians. Of course, international football returning to the shores after two years and the crowd starved in that regard and of course they're happy to see international football returning to Guyana. Possession now changes hands. The Guyanese are on the prowl. Good work there in defense by St. Lucia. Putting the ball into touch. Possessions still with the Guyanese team. In their green, predominant green with yellow stripes, the St. Lucians in predominant blue. The 
even as the action continues. This is the first game that the Ghana Football Federation's Normalization Committee, uh, just in place a few months, they've been able to get this game off for the Guyanese. And in another week, Grenada will be coming to these shores for another friendly international. It's a free kick, a free kick to the Guyana side, deep in their half of play. It's a long ball upfield. Good defending of the again there by St. Lucia. Now in possession in midfield. Guyana now taking over. Slip there by that player. Good battle there. The St. Lucians prevailing. Possession back with Guyana. Solid in defense is the St. Lucia captain, one of the most experienced players, Sheldon Emmanuel, the dreadlock Sheldon Emmanuel, sporting the number six jersey. And he, along with uh, Tremaine Shane Paul, are applying their trade in Trinidad and Tobago, as is the Guyanese goalkeeper, Akel Clark. So both teams still looking to get the advantage of the other, not holding back in terms of pressing forward. But so far, the St. Lucians uh, have been the more active team in terms of going forward, but Guyana showing depth in defense as well. And with young Emmanuel, that should be Holder, Sheldon Holder, and Daniel Wilson up front, working in tandem with uh, Captain Christopher Nurse in midfield, and Verlon Mills on the right side. The Guyanese will be looking to draw first blood here against the St. Lucians, who are pressing forward, looking for the opening goal, but again, some solid defensive work by the Guyanese thwarting that effort from the St. Lucians. Banks the IH under their Banks Beer and Coca-Cola brands, they're the sole sponsor of this international match here at the Providence Stadium. So kudos to Banks the IH Limited for coming on board with the normalization committee of the Ghana Football Federation. St. Lucia still in control. Brandon Beresford there for Guyana looking to find Verlon Mills but that pass was a little too much for Mills to take control. also seen before the start of proceedings the teams being met by the Honorable Prime Minister as St. Lucian is fouled. Prime Minister Samuel Hines along with uh, the Honorable Minister of Culture Union Sport Dr. Frank Anthony, Chairman of the GFF's Normalization Committee Clinton Erling, Ms. Jennifer Khan of Banks Day Limited among other officials meeting and greeting the players before the start of this match. So it's a three-man wall being put up there by the Guyanese side, the Golden Jaguars, I, I can as the St. Lucians, the visitors, continue to press well, forward in search of the opening goal. The shot is taken. A good dummy there by the onrushing player, just eluding the upright. Even goalkeeper Akel Clark was um, not on top of that free kick, but luckily 
the ball going just outside the left upright and into touch for a goal kick to the Guyanese. So that was a pretty close shave for the Guyanese as the St. Lucians uh, took that free kick. Guyana on the counter here. Pressing deep into the final third and they have won a throw in. But clearance there by St. Lucia. <coughs> and it's a throw in to the Guyana side. Free kick there awarded to the Golden Jaguars. Referee's whistle going for an infringement, so it's going to be a kick to the St. Lucia side, which of course will be taken by their goalkeeper, Randy Polio. Verland Mills for Guyana losing control and the ball going into touch uh, that should be a throwing to the St. Lucians and the crowd of course did not like the fact that Verland could not have you know maintained control of the ball but of course uh, he would look to make amends as this game matures it's still a nail all affair between Guyana's Golden Jaguars in green and St. Lucia in blue. It's the first game for the St. Lucians in 2015. It's Guyana's second on the 1st of February. It drew with Barbados in Barbados 2 all. Oh no, Joshua. Oh no, Joshua. You see me do that? So what both teams taking the fight to each other. Fair exchanges so far. It's going to be a throw in for Diana, taken by Camacho. The ball going straight to goalkeeper Polion, who accepted gleefully. As St. Lucia look to score first here, of course, the Golden Jaguars would also be harboring such thoughts. Both teams looking to gain the ascendancy and of course a goal would settle the nerves of either team as they seek to go forward in preparation for World Cup qualifying 2018. They're going to start their respective campaigns in June in round two of the CONCACAF flag of qualifying. A goal kick to St. Lucia. Goalkeeper Polyon will take the kick. So far, St. Lucia, of course, looking a solid unit, enjoying the better of the exchanges in midfield. But as we know, the Golden Jaguars who would have 
moved their way into the third stage of qualifying for the previous World Cup held last year in Brazil would be looking to reassert themselves and regain that momentum that would have propelled them for the first time in the history of Ghana to, to the third stage of qualifying. St. Lucia moving forward. They're into the Ghana half. A nice chip there and uh, good work by St. Lucia but not being able to penetrate. Captain Nurse to Mills but Mills losing possession to St. Lucia eventually the ball given up by St. Lucia's number three Mr. Gabriel called by the referee for the ball to be restarted it's back up and running uh, the referee signaling again that we should restart play it's been done Jamal again for some reason not getting it right let's hope that is so this time yes and we're back up and running Colin Nelson for the Jaguars looking to find Mills he does but Mills not been able to control the ball and the referee's whistle blown for an infringement let's see perhaps it would have been a foul committed against St. Lucia so it's going to be a free kick to St. Lucia and the captain himself Sheldon Emmanuel controlling the defense for his country and one of the prominent faces on the St. Lucia team as the ball goes into touch again it's going to be a throw in to St. Lucia number two on the ball there for his country Mr. Joseph and when the Guyanese met the St. Lucians in the Caribbean Cup last year it would not have been a full strength Ghana team mainly made up of locally based players but in this new dispensation it's a mix of overseas based and local players and uh, the, both countries are also preparing for the Olympic qualifying competition so you would find a number of under 23 players being given the opportunity to hone their skills and to showcase their skills for the coaches to see what they can do as Olympic qualifying is also on the horizon good work there again by St. Lucia but again not being able to have that kind of penetration in the attacking third so goalkeeper Akel Clark who is straight in Trinidad and Tobago passes to Colin that's Jamal Smith captain nurse is back in defense uh, traditionally plays in the midfield Colin Nelson looks for Mills finds him but and it's Sheldon so Mills in with a chance of scoring but the ball going just wide of the upright goalkeeper Polion very calm in his area uh, good work by the Guyanese uh, but also good uh, focused defending by the St. Lucians and of course the crowd behind their Golden Jaguars looking for the first goal and would be very happy if the Guyanese are to score so again they're going to give up play in the attacking third but Brandon Beresford for the Guyanese trying to find Captain Nurse uh, Sheldon Noel and Daniel Wilson two youngsters up front for Guyana as St. Lucia moves forward again and it's a foul committed against the St. Lucians so again it's going to be 
another free kick to St. Lucia and let's see what they can make of it the first free kick went pretty close to scoring coach Jamal Shabazz not pleased with the level of play from his charges thus far and uh, perhaps bellowing some instructions to his charges number 8 and 14 on the ball for St. Lucia Tremaine Paul and number 14 of course is Mr. Joseph Lester Joseph the ball going into touch so it's going to be let's see it's a corner the second corner of the game and the second for St. Lucia goalkeeper Acker Clark coming and grasping the ball comfortably so no problem is there for the Golden Jaguars the kick goes high into the air and possession is given to St. Lucia of course perhaps that would have been as a result of an infringement committed by the Golden Jaguars playing in green and of course yellow St. Lucia in light and dark blue not infringement committed against the St. Lucians Just throwing there, Chris Camacho for the Golden Jaguars. That's a foul against the Jags. Sheldon Noel. Brandon Beresford. Good work again by the Guyanese, but equally good work by the St. Lucians the score still a nil all affair in this friendly international the first for the St. Lucians in 2015 and they're also preparing apart from their focus on World Cup qualifying and the Olympic qualifying they are going to be involved in the Windward Islands tournament in May this year Keeper Clark for Guyana there as they maintain possession still trying to get their way in this encounter of Roland Mills again for the Guyanese Brandon Beresford but not again being able to get it right in the final third so the ball going into touch out of harm's way for St. Lucia Captain Emmanuel for St. Lucia controlling this situation at the back in defense that's a foul there committed against Captain Nurse of Guyana oh good dummy there a shot taken but not good and there with another chance Daniel Wilson it looks like going wide of the upright but it seems like it would have the final touch would have come off of uh, St. Lucia defender and the ball going it seems let's see going into touch I initially it seemed that as if it would have been a corner for the Guyanese but now we see it's a goal kick 
So Daniel Wilson's shot to goal went wide of the mark. But another pretty close shave for St. Lucia. Mills again. Beresford to Nurse who misses his pass there. Smith, a tower of strength in defense for the Guyanese. It's a foul against Nurse committed on a St. Lucian player. Number 11, Mr. Eden Charles. Number 8 taking the kick. That's Mr. Paul, Tremaine Paul. St. Lucia deep in the Guyana half of play. Another throw in to the visitors. Paul controlling play there with that throw in. And it's a free kick. It's going to be awarded in dangerous territory against Jamal Smith of Guyana, committed against the number. Fifteen of St. Lucia Malik St. Pri taking the kick is Eden Charles for St. Lucia uh, two man wall by the Guyanese let's see what will happen this time around I think this is the third free kick deep in the Guyana half for the St. Lucians Going over the crossbar, no harm there for goalkeeper Clark and the Guyanese. Uh, of course, uh, Mr. Charles would have been disappointed with that effort, but it's still a nil all affair. Neither team been able to score as the action continues here in this friendly international between St. Lucia and Guyana at the Guyana National Stadium Providence. The teams were met prior to the start of this match by the Honorable Prime Minister of Guyana, Mr. Samuel Hines, the Honorable Minister of Culture and Sport, Dr. Frank Anthony, the Chairman of the Guyana Football Federation's Normalization Committee, uh, Mr. Clinton Erling, and representatives from uh, the main sponsor, Banks DIH Limited, Miss Jennifer Can and others. A pretty quiet period here as neither team been able to score so far. Some good work there by the Guyanese. Uh, Vrolin Mills eventually drawing a foul. And it's going to be a free kick just around the center line for Guyana, taken by Captain Nurse, who finds Nelson. Uh, he looks and finds the midfielder. The ball goes into touch it's going to be the first corner for Guyana good defensive work there by St. Lucia once again Verlin Mills with a shot inside, Brandon Beresford with a shot that goes over the crossbar. So no difficulty there for goalkeeper Pullion. Number 18 on the turf for St. Lucia. Mr. Sebastius Hunt uh, seems to be fine. And uh, it's going to be a goal kick 
for St. Lucia once again as the exchanges continue here at the Providence Stadium in Guyana friendly international between the home team and the visitors St. Lucia ball is placed into touch by Jamal Smith for Guyana it's going to be a yet another throw in to St. Lucia taken by number three Eric Gabriel shot to goal by Gabriel goes just outside the upright no harm there again for goalkeeper Akel Clark sporting the number 30 lines up now to take the kick finds it looks like Daniel Wilson there for Diana the guy is still in possession good defending again by St. Lucia keeping the ball out of the area and it's a throw in to the visitors Mills has been pretty active in this game so far St. Lucia dispossessing and moving forward pretty good work there by the Guyanese thwarting that opportunity by the St. Lucians continue to show you know good fight great heart and have been enjoying some good moments in this game so far easy take there for goalkeeper Pullian not such a good kick as the Guyanese look to move forward once again Sheldon with a shot a belatedly taken of course but good defending there by captain Sheldon Emmanuel for St. Lucia a tad bit too late number 16 for the Guyanese taking the throw in Joshua Brown and no harm there again for St. Lucia but a pretty good moment there for young Holder Sheldon Holder shot taken but good work by Captain Emmanuel in blocking that shot earlier Chris Nurse at Mills again once again in the picture seeking to get that elusive goal for the Guyanese Wilson Brown St. Lucia number 11 moving forward for the St. Lucians Charles it's going to be Roland Mills for Guyana once again looks and find Daniel Wilson in the goal squares the ball it's a shot taken at his goal for the Guyanese the Golden Jaguars number 17 we will confirm who scored there but it's goal number one it looks like Roland Mills switching up and coming from the right side and a beautifully taken shot gives the Golden Jaguars the edge it's Guyana 1 
Sir Lucia yet to score. We will confirm who scored that goal for you shortly. Seemed like number 23, Eon Allen of Fruta Conquerors, a locally based club, opening the score for Guyana. Good work by the Guyanese, giving them the edge. So it's Guyana 1 through a goal of the boot of Eon Allen. St. Lucia, they haven't come off the mark as yet. Of course, the crowd would be more than pleased with the performance of their Jaguars so far. But I don't think that the Guyanese Jaguars would take the St. Lucians for granted. We know of their exploits and what they can do. So they'll have to be ever vigilant as the St. Lucians, of course, will be looking to equalize. As Captain Emmanuel continues to control proceedings at the back for the St. Lucians who are in possession. So the goal coming as just reward for the Jaguars who would have been pretty persistent the St. Lucians too would have had some opportunities to break the deadlock but it was the Jaguars who would have capitalized on uh, their chance and made it count Daniel Wilson going forward there for the Jaguars Chris Camacho his shot coming over Captain Emmanuel again there Verlon Mills uh, his shot perhaps a little bit selfish there They're trying to <laughs> I think he realizes that trying to beat goalkeeper Polian from that distance but not being able to do so the ball going way over the crossbar and into touch so it's going to be another goal kick for St. Lucia Remember the Jaguars would have reached the third stage of qualifying in the previous competition leading up to Brazil 2014. And as we said before, both nations preparing for World Cup qualifying in 2018 Russia. Both Guyana and St. Lucia have been drawn in group the second stage stage 2 round 2 of World Cup qualifying Guyana are down to play St. Vincent and Grenadines in their first game in June Brandon Beresford moving forward for the Jaguars there Verlon Mills once again back pass into the well the shot taken by Captain Nurse but good defending there once again by St. Lucia Joshua The referee now sick bl blowing for an infringement, kind of belatedly, and it's going to be a kick for St. Lucia captain Sheldon Emmanuel on the ball for St. Lucia. Jamal Smith for Guyana.
a little too much on that it goes into touch goal scorer for Ian Allen not being able to get to the ball and it's just throwing to St. Lucia on the far right the score 1-0 in favor of Guyana as the action continues here at the Providence Stadium friendly international between Guyana and St. Lucia the first game for the St. Lucians in 2015 goalkeeper Akel Clark coming forward to take the ball and he takes a throw to Verlin Mills who looks to find Sheldon Holder and he has been fouled there by one of the St. Lucian players a referee calling the number 10 player who is gu was guilty of that infringement Mr. Polius not quite ready there so the kick would have to be retaken Captain Christopher Nurse will be taking that free kick for the Guyanese Mills again but Daniel Wilson not vigilant there that first time pass from Mills uh, St. Lucia once again moves forward looking to find the equalizer and it's a foul committed by Colin Nelson of Guyana it's uh, going to be a free kick we see number eight on the ball for St. Lucia Mr. Trimmon Paul and he's working in tandem yet again with number 14 Lester Joseph we also see number 10 now coming into play Zacchaeus Polius for St. Lucia as they search for the equalizing goal Paul it looks like will take the shot comfortably grasped there by Clark as the Guyanese moves forward it Sheldon Holder Brandon Beresford looks to find Eon Allen on the far side the, the ball goes into touch and it's going to be a throw in taken by Joshua Brown for Guyana St. Lucia back with possession Christopher Nurse for Guyana draws a foul so it's going to be a free kick for the Guyanese Nurse perhaps wanted to take it as fast as possible but not being able to so Joshua Brown number 16 taking this free kick for the Golden Jaguars Captain Nurse good shot equally well saved by goalkeeper Randy Polyon for St. Lucia good thinking by captain Christopher Nurse but as I said equally good saving and equal to the task was St. Lucia's custodian Randy Pollyon so the, story, the score remains 1-0 in favor of Guyana as the corner 
is taken. No harm there for St. Lucia. It goes into touch and it's going to be another goal kick for the St. Lucians as we approach the halfway mark in uh, this friendly international here at the Ghana National Stadium Providence. It's the first game for the St. Lucians this year. Both nations are preparing for World Cup qualifying at Russia 2018. Verland Mills with a good shot. Again, testing Polyus. Polyon, Brandon Beresford. And the ball is cleared by St. Lucia. So a pretty close shave again for St. Lucia. Brown taking the shot, looks and finds his captain, Nurse, who moves forward. But again, St. Lucia. One minute of added on time as by the fourth official. So we're one minute away from the halfway mark in this game that is being led by the Golden Jaguars, one goal to nil. Brandon Beresford. And it's offside. Ian Allen, it seems, in the offside. It's a pretty uh, good first half. Despite the fact that the Golden Jaguars are leading one goal to nil, St. Lucia also shows that they have the capacity to score. But the Guyanese standing tall in defense, led by Jamal Smith and Colin Nelson. Offside. So as we wind down to the end of the first half of course the fans would be pleased so far with the performance of the Golden Jaguars as they lead one goal to nil and that's the halftime whistle sounded Guyana's Golden Jaguars one St. Lucia nil Yes, we are back here at the Ghana National Stadium, Providence, where we're going to be seeing the start of the second half of this friendly international between Guyana's Golden Jaguars and St. Lucia. And we're on our way, the final 45 minutes of proceedings. Guyana leading one goal to nil. The goal scored by Ian Allen in the 33rd minute of the game.
we anticipate a pretty exciting final half. Of course, the Golden Jaguars will be looking to increase the advantage, while the St. Lucians would be looking to reduce the deficit by equalizing in the first instance and, of course, pushing for a win of their own. When these uh, countries met last year, 2014, in the Caribbean Cup competition, the St. Lucians prevailed two goals to nil. But uh, this time around, it's uh, much stronger Golden Jaguars. And they, of course, like the St. Lucians, are preparing for World Cup qualifying Russia. 2018. The St. Lucians, I'm told as well, uh, head coach Francis Lastic, who has been at the helm of the St. Lucia senior program for the, since uh, 2012, said that they're also preparing for the Windward Islands Championship that should, that should be played in May, uh, followed by the Round 2 World Cup qualifying in June. Jamal Shabazz, head coach of the Ghana team, the senior team that is, as well as the under-23s, recently inking a two-year contract with the Ghana Football Federation's Normalization Committee. And Shabazz is no stranger to football in Ghana. As a matter of fact, he was at the helm when Ghana qualified for the third stage of World Cup qualifying for 2014 Brazil. It was the furthest that this nation would have advanced and I'm sure that they're looking to go even better in this sojourn. So it's Chris Kabach for Ghana moving forward and not being able to find uh, Sheldon Holder. So St. Lucia's back in possession. Good defending there by Colin Nelson. Keeping the ball out of the Ghana half of play. So, Jamal Smith for the Jags looks and finds his captain, Chris Nurse. Nurse wanted to find Sheldon Noel, Sheldon Holder, that is, but was successful. Nurse again for Guyana. Holder. With a shot. And it's goal number two for the Golden Jaguars. Sheldon Holder, the goal scorer for Guyana, increasing the advantage. Sheldon Holder on target. Goalkeeper Randy Polian uh, looked like he was stuck for a moment there. Perhaps felt that the ball would have been going to his left. But that wasn't the case. It ended up at the back of the net. So Holder increasing the advantage early in the second half for the Golden Jaguars. Who are now leading to St. Lucia nil. The fans are pretty quiet, but of course, happy that their Jaguars are leading St. Lucia two goals to nil. That was the scoreline when the two countries last met in the Caribbean Cup in 2014 in St. Lucia. 
So the Jags return in the favor somewhat so far. But of course, one could not count the St. Lucians out of this encounter. We are in the early period of the second half, and we're seeing some of the St. Lucians who are reserves getting warm. There's the substitutes getting warm. Of course, Coach Francis Lastic would no doubt be making a few changes as he seeks to introduce fresh legs to the middle in an effort to reduce the deficit and perhaps seek to get an equalizing goal. When Guyana met Barbados on February 1 in Barbados, the Guyanese ran away 2-0 leaders early, but the young Barbados side were able to come back and equalize that game, which ended 2-2. So it's a foul. It seemed like it would have been a foul committed against Guyana. And it's a kick that's going to be taken by the Guyanese Colin Nelson on the ball for the Golden Jaguars he seeks to find Noel but was not able to and it's going to be a goal kick to St. Lucia and even as uh, the majority of players in this friendly international for Guyana are youngsters we know that the Ghana program would have been able to attract two players out of the Premier League in England, uh, Neil Dance and Matthew Briggs, who has the record of being the youngest player to ever play in the Premier League in England. Both Dance and Briggs are expected to join the Ghana program and would be here to compete against Grenada. That's another friendly international that is going to be played at this same venue on next Sunday, that's March 29, as the Golden Jaguars seek to get the best possible combination for World Cup qualifying as well as preparations for the Olympic qualifying competition. So far, both youngsters would have been goal scorers for Guyana in Ion Allen in the 23rd minute, 33rd rather, and we see the St. Lucians making their first substitution. Number 14 is exiting the game, Lester Joseph, and number four, let's see, Everton Lambert coming in for Joseph. So St. Lucia, as we just said a short while ago, Coach Francis Lastic would be looking to introduce fresh legs as the St. Lucians seek to reduce deficit, which is 2 0 at the moment. So Lester Joseph being substituted and Everton Lambert coming on, number four, for number 14. Lester you know, the game is in so the the action and continues here at the Providence Stadium. They had a two, St. Lucia, yet to score. Eon Allen and Sheldon Holder, the goal scorers for the age so far. Under their Banks Bay brand, have fun in Banks Country and Coca-Cola. Open happiness. St. Lucia moving forward as they seek their first goal in this encounter. And so far, so good. But good defending again by the Guyanese. The first of two we see even the midfielders coming back to render support to the defenders as they seek to keep the St. Lucians at bay here at the Ghana National Stadium, Providence. That ball goes into touch. It's going to be a throw in for Guyana. Chris Camacho will be taking the throw in. 
referee is saying that you need to make a few steps backward. Camacho to Nelson, left foot shot looking to find Daniel Wilson. Christopher Nurse, the captain for Guyana. But good defending there again by captain to captain Sheldon Emmanuel of St. Lucia. As St. Lucia moves forward, but good coming there in the final third by Jamal Smith. Canadian base, six foot plus defender, wearing the number four jersey, thwarting that effort there by St. Lucia. Ion Allen. Drawing a foul. Scored Guyana's first goal and I think that it's his first at the international level as well. Sheldon Holder would have been a part of the Golden Jaguars for the 2014 World Cup qualifying competition. And that ball is into touch. So it's going to be another throw in for Guyana that's going to be taken by Mr. Camacho once again, number five. So Guyana sitting pretty comfortably so far. We were in the second half of this friendly international with St. Lucia. Uh, both nations preparing for World Cup qualifying. Russia 2018, the second round of CONCACAF qualifying, commences in June. Diana's down to play St. Vincent and the Grenadines away uh, in their first encounter. Not in control there, Chris Kabach. Camacho, that is, and uh, it's going to be a throw in to St. Lucia. Sheldon Holder aiming to control there, but St. Lucians. Pretty solid work there by number 10 of St. Lucia, Zacchaeus Polius. So the action continues here. Goalkeeper Akel Clark for the Golden Jaguars. in midfield finds Eon Allen who was not able to control the ball but apparently there was some infringement committed as a matter of fact uh, a yellow card being issued to one of the St. Lucian players so it's going to be a free kick taken to be taken by young Brandon Beresford who made his debut in 2010 in Atlanta when the Guyanese played Guatemala. Let's see how this goes. Beresford, nice kick and good defending by St. Lucia. Uh, the offside the flag right raised, raised by the, the assistant Barry referee. So it's going to be a kick to St. Lucia, taken by their goalkeeper Randy Pullion. 
foul there against St. Lucia, who seems to be playing with some degree of urgency at the moment. Naturally, they are trailing the Guyanese two goals to nil, and they would not want the game to get too far out of their reach. But it will take some amount of playing on the part of the St. Lucians, who would have drawn a foul there to first reduce the deficit and then they're coming very close there yet again to scoring but again solid defending by Jamal Smith for Guyana keeping them at bay Sheldon Holder for Guyana moving forward looking to find his man let's see who he tries to find on the far side it looks like Daniel Wilson uh, but the ball being cleared by St. Lucia it's a foul and quickly taken as the St. Lucia with the referee saying no 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 you need to restart play Beresford Colin Nelson in defense there for Guyana as the St. Lucians yet again comes close but not being able to penetrate in the final third it's a pretty good little period the St. Lucians are enjoying at the moment but the Guyanese are keeping the focus and keeping the visitors at bay so far. That ball played into touch by Ion Allen. Yes, the goal scorer for Guyana wearing sporting the number 23 shirt. It's a corner awarded to St. Lucia and the captain Sheldon Emmanuel orchestrating the play himself but pittering out into a soft play more or less going into touch and it's going to be yet another goal kick to the Golden Jaguars who are leading two goals to nil Eon Allen scoring the 33rd minute and Sheldon Holder scoring early in uh, the second period of play play on the referee says as the Golden Jaguars are in to the attacking third of the St. Lucians, not being able to make much of that play. So it's a goal kick to St. Lucia. St. Lucia already making one substitution. Lester Joseph being replaced by Everton Lambert and they're about to make the second substitution and we see number three now coming out and that player is Eric Gabriel and he's going to be replaced by number 23 Jamil Joseph So Jamil Joseph coming in for St. Lucia. Guyana is going to be making a sub as well. We see number 10, uh, Emery Welshman, about to make his appearance in the game. It's going to be the second game he's playing for Guyana. 
he played his first against Barbados on February the 1st and also scored in that game his first goal for Guyana and he's Canadian based um, coming off is Sheldon Holder after doing a fine job for his nation Sheldon Holder scoring the second goal for Guyana he's being replaced by Emery Welchman so number nine out and number ten in for the Golden Jaguars and Holder is exiting the game to the applause of the appreciative crowd here at the Ghana National Stadium so St. Lucia so far two substitutions just a short while ago we saw number three taking his leave from the game Eric Gabriel and we'll come back to that number 23 making an appearance uh, yet another substitution for St. Lucia number 17 out and number 10 is coming in number 17 is let's get that for you Romel Felix he is out of the game and replacing him is we will confirm that substitu substitution for you uh, shortly but the third substitution for St. Lucia as the Jaguars continues to press forward good work a good position in there by goalkeeper Randy Pollyon for St. Lucia the score Guyana 2 St. Lucia yet to score corner awarded to the St. Lucians captain Emmanuel working overtime not a corner rather it's a throw in to the St. Lucians pretty powerful throw in there by captain Sheldon Emmanuel who is really leading from the front trying to put it back for his country they're trailing the Guyanese two goals to nil here at the Ghana National Stadium Providence the teams were met before the start of the game by the Honorable Prime Minister of Ghana Mr. Samuel Hines also meeting the teams was the Honorable Minister of Culture and Sport Dr. Frank Anthony and the Chairman of the Ghana Football Federation Normalization Committee Clinton Erling as well as Banks DIH the main sponsor for this game their Coca-Cola manager Jennifer Khan and despite the fact that the St. Lucians are trailing two goals to nil they continue to show great heart in pressing the Guyanese Emery Welchman for Guyana the he was looking to find Eon Allen but the shot wasn't as pinpoint as it should have been and it was intercepted by the St. Lucians a possession back with Guyana Jamal Smith looks to find Eon Allen and is successful but the St. Lucians again number two for them John Joseph the dreadlock Joseph doing a fine job and it's going to be a free kick just outside of the danger zone awarded to the Guyanese so pretty dangerous territory let's see who will take the kick? Ian Allen, it seemed, would have been fouled. Uh, number seven for Guyana, Dwayne Jacobs.
who came on as a substitute is lining up to take the shot that kick for the Golden Jaguars a pretty interesting area and I can tell you Randy Polian will have to save here because Jacobs a very good free kick taker let's see what happens here can the score be increased just three let's wait and see it's Dwayne Jacobs and Emery Welshman for the Guyanese when the ball goes into the wall and uh, Ian Allen tried to get a shot off but was not successful. So the score remains 2 0 in favor of the Golden Jaguars. Well, not too tidy work. There from the Guyanese giving up a corner to St. Lucia, quickly taken. But the St. Lucia has not been able to turn and get into the attacking thirds. But they're still persevering as they seek to first reduce the deficit. Chris Camacho doing some good work there for his country getting the ball out of harm's way but still in possession of the St. Lucians Welshman for the Guyanese good work there going to the far side but not being able to find this man but Welshman working hard and Guyana still being able to have possession deep into the St. Lucian half. Goal scorer so far, Ian Allen and Sheldon Holder. Yet another substitution being made by the Golden Jaguars. Number 14 it is that's going to be introduced. Clive Nobriga and he will be replacing Eon Allen so fresh legs again being introduced into this game uh, Eon Allen being congratulated by the coaching staff as well as his fellow teammates for a good performance scoring the first goal for his nation here against St. Lucia. Two nil in favor of Guyana. St. Lucia still looking for their first goal, even as head coach of the Guyana team, Jamal Shabazz, is giving instru instructions to his charges head coach of St. Lucia Francis Lastic is standing and observing his players as they move forward in search of their first goal they've won themselves a corner in to touch so it's going to be a throw to the Golden Jaguars Chris Camacho still in possession the Golden Jaguars Camacho again
Captain Emmanuel becoming even more visible for his nation controlling play Christopher Nurse his opposite number for the Golden Jaguars not having the best of games but still leading from the front for the Golden Jaguars Camacho yet again Welchman Of course, both coaches will naturally be reviewing the performance of their respective sides at the conclusion of this match. And while one nation might go out loser, of course, there would be positive moments that could be taken from the game and the not so positive moments the technical staff will have to work to ensure that mistakes made here from both sides are corrected going forward. Daniel Wilson. It's going to be a throw-in for Guyana. But not a substitution being made. Kandata Banning is being introduced. And he's replacing Brandon Beresford. So one midfield player for another. Kandata Manning coming in with this game for Brandon Beresford. So as I said, both sides would be looking to give as much of their players some exposure at this international level as they seek to get the right combination or the best possible combination ahead of World Cup qualifying for Russia 2018. In the case of the St. Lucia side, they are also preparing for the Windward Islands Cup, which would also be used as a gauge to assemble the best possible combination ahead of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Good shot taken, uh, but not on target. So no worries there at all for our goalkeeper Akel Clark. Yet another substitution by the Guyanese, number 11 is taking his leave from this game that's uh, Daniel Wilson and he is going to be replaced uh, by number 20 Junior Junior German Junior rather Not to Banning. It's a foul. Uh, quickly taken there by the St. Lucians. They are trailing the Golden Jaguars by two. Captain Emmanuel standing strong, playing firm for St. Lucia, directing proceedings even when he's not in possession. Goal 
goalkeeper Aka Clark coming into the mix after a very long time that was a shot taken there on goal a very appreciative crowd in the house inclusive of the Prime Minister Mr. Samuel Hines and Minister of Culture and Sport Dr. Frank Anthony as well as Chairman of the Ghana Football Federation's Normalization Committee Clinton Erling executives of the sponsors Banks DIH under the Banks Bear and Coca-Cola brands foul committed against St. Lucia uh, we see some good sportsmanship being displayed throughout this encounter by both sides whenever an individual from either side is fouled the perpetrator would extend a hand to get that person back up and running so that's pretty good rivalry between the two countries despite the fact that the St. Lucians are trailing two goals to nil lots of kids are very much a part of the proceedings lots of women parents fathers mothers aunts uncles coming out to show support to the Golden Jaguars international football making a grand return to the shores after more than two years and uh, the fans are very happy for this the players as well are very happy for this as the Guyana Football Federation Normalization Committee seek to give the players the best possible opportunity and opportunities of course to have football played and to be as active as they possibly can in putting together teams for Olympic and World Cup qualifying so of course time is winding down in this game here between St. Lucia and Guyana the home team they're leading two goals to nil and of course head coach Jamal Chabaz just signaling to goalkeeper Aka Clark to get the game going keep playing no time wasting as the home team would of course want to keep the intensity pretty high uh, Shabar is not too pleased with what he would have seen shortly and we are going to see yet another substitution uh, shortly being made by the Guyanese uh, Canadian based uh, player in Daniel White will be making his international debut here for Guyana now approaching the fourth official so Daniel White sporting the number 18 jersey would be making his international debut and he plays in the left fullback position but the action continues on field as the Golden Jaguars move forward St. Lucia standing strong at the back in that moment and uh, they are on the counter as well seeking to reduce the deficit but not being able to get things their way as the play continues also, there are VIP suites available. Just contact the Guyana Football Federation office for more details. Tonight's conclusion. Shot taken, but good positioning by Akel Clark. 
for the Golden Jaguars. And Coca Cola, open happiness. Also, let me special thank you to Hinton and Jam playing a part in making tonight's event truly successful. And to you, the fans. Good pressure the there line. by the Guyanese forcing board, the, Good night and thank the you. ball into touch. Number 16 is going to be making way for White. Number 16 of Guyana, Joshua Brown. He's coming out and it's going to be replaced. Yeah, by Daniel White, Daniel White who is making Trump. his international debut for Guyana. So lots of options available to the Guyana technical staff as well. Dwayne Jacobs for the Guyanese, but good defending once again by St. Lucia, thwarting that effort there. Pretty interesting uh, little period there as the Guyanese sought to increase the lead but St. Lucia standing tall at the back eventually drawing a foul. Captain Christopher Nurse. crosses in but it goes into touch and another substitution for St. Lucia number 11 will make his way out of the game Eden Charles and number 12 will be introduced that's Nehemi Gilbert so Gilbert in for St. Lucia and Charles out so both sides not being afraid to make substitutions as they try to give most players an opportunity to showcase what they have to offer of course the Golden Jaguars leading two goals to nil. Captain Christopher Nurse, Dwayne Jacobs, Chris Camacho. The ball still in play. Colin Nelson. Kanata Manning. Daniel White. Nurse Nobriga not being able to be effective in finding one of his teammates up front so St. Lucia back in possessions but it's the Golden Jaguars who are enjoying a pretty good period of play here moving forward into touch for a throw in to Guyana three minutes of added on time just signaled by the fort official even as St. Lucia are about to make yet another substitution and we're winding down two goals to nil goal scored in either half 
Opening the scoring for Guyana was Ian Allen in the 33rd minute. And early in proceedings in the second half, Sheldon Holder increasing the score for the Golden Jaguars, which remains 2 0 in favor of the home team. And the Jaguars now more or less focusing on the on ball possession. Quite a number of passes, but not getting it right in the final third. Welshman for the Jacks. And that's a foul and of course a card there for Colin Nelson of Guyana number 15 of St. Lucia will be replaced Malik St. Prix being replaced by number 22 Levi Francis so Malik St. Prix out, number 15, and replacing him is number 22, Levi Francis. Not much time remaining in this friendly international encounter between Guyana's Golden Jaguars and the St. Lucia. It's the first game for the St. Lucians in 2015. It's the second for the Golden Jaguars, having already played Barbados on the 1st of February in Barbados with that game ending in a two-all draw and even as the fans are making their way out of the venue I'm sure they would have had an enjoyable evening seeing the return of international football here at the Ghana National Stadium and that's the final whistle uh, sounded there by the referee pretty good performance as the head coaches exchange uh, the salutations Jamal Shabazz and Francis Lastic Guyana's Golden Jaguars prevailing two goals to nil in this encounter against St. Lucia at the Guyana National Stadium both teams are preparing for World Cup qualifying uh, 2018 Russia We, we also, and there's just certain laps in the game that, that we did, we, I mean, cause, cause, causes the game. So, what, what's the next for you in terms of, because uh, I think this is the first game you've played for the year, mm -hmm. and you're preparing like they have for the World Cup as well as the big World Cup. So, mm -hmm. what's the next for you guys? Uh, as I said, we're really preparing for the Greenwood tournament. The World Cup is, is later in the month. Our game is against Antigua. So, so our focus now is. is um, for the winner of the tournament, we have three games to play in that tournament, and, and this will get, get, at least get, get, get us the hype to prepare for the, for, for the World Cup qualifiers. Uh, We, we started the game positive. It was a, a positive first half, uh, good first half, uh, intense. Uh, we, we start putting the ball down and passing the ball around. But I find the, the coach, Jamal Shabazz, changed the, the tactics where he, he bring up the, the attackers closer to us, where he had us to be kicking the ball long and then the, 
the ball keep on coming back, back, right back into us, and it was it had us under a, a little pressure. Um, second half, um, it was our first game for the for the year. I believe we're not um, match fit as yet. I think the Guyana team is uh, a little better prepared than us, uh, tactically, technically also. But to me, I enjoyed the game and it was a, a great game. As, as I said, we prepared for the Green Island tournament. Uh, sometime in, in, May, in um, May, May of this year. And um, that, that's what they first. We focus right now on the Green Island tournament. Um, um, for us, it's like um, going back home, work on our weaknesses, uh, play a couple of friendly games, and I think. Uh, will be better prepared come for the Winwood Island and the World Cup qualifiers. We, we have a... We playing Guyana again, you know. I'm happy to play them again. Yeah. Do you think it's the next match of the team? What difference do you think? I think, as, as Skipper said, in terms of fitness, we will do. For sure we do. Um, yes, we have additional players, something in the pipeline, which we cannot disclose now, but we have, we have players playing outside. Out of the I thought the effort was quite good. You know, a, a total effort from the guys. Um, on this occasion, uh, unlike the Barbados game, I thought we were able to make more football action in the time, you know, a higher level of fitness. We at times play with a, a better tempo, and we could see bits and pieces of, of, of what we want to see for Guyana football. I think it was so important for us to win tonight, not for us. We are very serious about our football. You know, we're very, very serious. I think it's for the fans and, and, and for corporate Guyana to see that we're very, very, very serious because we've seen an organization, a committee, come together in just under five months. And, you know, we see football back in, you know, and, and, and that's the kind of seriousness. So the victory was not really for us. we always serious. You know, we deadly serious about our football. We cry when we lose. So it was for the public and, and, and for corporate Guyana and, 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 and for, the, for the politicians and for everybody to, to see, you know, a desire, you know, from an organization that is very, very, very serious about taking Guyana forward. Yeah, Captain, can you sum up with your view how the team I think uh, the team had something to prove today because a lot of players, sad to say, felt a bit disgruntled in the way that they were left out of the CFU squad last year against St. Lucia. And I think today a lot of players wanted to prove a point that had the best team been selected for that CFU tournament, that Guyana could have been competing in the Gold Cup this year against the USA and Mexico because French Guyana competing against Honduras for the final spot. So the players had it in their hearts that they wanted to go out and prove a point today. We still know that we're developing as a team. We're getting better game by game. You know, today the fitness was better. There was a little bit more cohesion, but there's still a lot that we can improve on as a team also. You know, it wasn't a, comp a complete performance, but we kept a clean sheet and we got a good result, and that's always very positive in international football. What do you think, John, what do you think the victory tonight does um, for your squad? For the people who support the I think for the team, uh, it, 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 it brings that reassurance because the guys made sacrifices. Um, so we took them away from the club at the time of an important tournament for them locally. And it gives that feeling and that sense of assurance that look, if we dedicate ourselves to the task because we want to rebuild this, you know, we want to become a strong team again. And I think, you know, getting three points today is just the kind of step we want playing at home.
Well, the fact that uh, Matthew and, and Neil um, consented and, 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 and accepted, you know, our offer uh, to, to, to come, uh, and, that, and, and Chris will talk about them because Chris is friends with, 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 with one of them at least. Um, but also, there, there are a couple other boys we want to bring in, um, Purnell Schultz, uh, Treyon Bob, who we didn't consider for this game, because we're in the middle of a tournament, and these games are what we're going to use in the FIFA time allotted to select our final squad, you know. So, from here, regroup, send some players back to the clubs so that they could continue playing in this tournament, bring in a couple and, and widen the pool, you know. Of course, we can't get an eagle, you know, them big long time eagles that they used to have in them sci-fi movies to bring the players. It costs money, you know, it costs money to bring the players. So we would like corporate Guyana to step forward and, 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 and play your part because this is what football does. Football gives everybody a chance to contribute to the country. I think in general Ghana's football going forward is going to be very exciting. I think one of the players that we miss in the team right now is Walter Moore. He's been one of the best players for Ghana for years now. Everybody's excited to for him to come back also as well as Briggs and Dans. But the overseas players bring experience and it's in international games when you're 1-0 up or 2-0 up. It's all about experience and decision making. And that's what they're going to be able to bring and add to the team as, long, as well as their talent. You know? We have a lot of talented players in Guyana. And now it's about them getting that experience. So there's decision making improves and you know, we become more of a unit as a team.